to lipomyelocils and other lipomatous malformations form. To understand this, uh, imagine this baby in this position. If we take a look from the bottom, when he was just an embryo, we will see something like this. This is the skin, and this is the spinal cord. These two structures came from the same origin, the ectoderm. Once upon a time, the cord was a simple tube called the neural tube. If we rewind the development, uh, before this was a tube separated and distinct from the skin, it was like this. It was just a flat plate. Early in development, the neuroectoderm and the epidermal ectoderm were fused. So what's, what happens after that is that since this neural plate is flat, it will form neural folds on each side. And these neural folds um, will deepen and these folds will grow closer to each other and make a tube. This is what we call closure of the neural tube. Its next task is to separate itself from the epidermal ectoderm. This process of separation is called disjunction. Looking more closely, this separation allows the mesenchymal cells, which are the grandma of fat, bone, and muscle, to form around the cord, including the part between the cord and the skin. So in normal development, the cord is covered or protected by bone, and this bone is separated from the skin by fat and muscle. This is all thanks to the development of uh, structures derived from the grandma mesenchyme. This process where the neural plate uh, develops folds and forms a neural tube is called primary neurulation. This process occurs in the spinal cord up to the level of S2. The distal cord, on the other hand, is formed by another process called the secondary neurulation, which is a topic for another day.